Hey everyone, welcome back to Self Serving Skillet. This is another episode of $3 Meals, and today we are making a rice bowl. I'm gonna start out with some chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are a pretty inexpensive part of the chicken and almost impossible to overcook. So they're really friendly to people on a budget, to people who want to stick something in the oven and have it be ready whenever. Uh, and they are, in my opinion, the tastiest part of the chicken. And I'm gonna debone them because I want to slice them as my end product. So I'm just gonna sear the skin, skin side down. I'm gonna use a nonstick pan this time specifically because I don't need them to leave behind a lot of fond. I'm not gonna be making a sauce in this pan. I want all of that flavor to sort of stay on the chicken. And for the rice, I'm using this sushi rice today because this is what I have. Uh, use any rice that you like. Personally, I like short grain brown rice. I think that has a really nice texture and chew to it. This is what I have today. Standard rice ratio, uh, one part rice, two parts water, but make sure to read your packaging. The manufacturer is gonna tell you how to get the most out of your product because they want you to buy more. Uh, this specific rice, they want you to wash and then one cup of rice to one and a quarter cup of water. And don't be afraid to wash it either. Uh, you don't need to wash it, but then you're not really gonna get that nice uh, sort of textured rice. You're gonna end up with something a little more clumpy that has a little more starch in it. And if you really want to, you can save that water and use it as the base of a soup or a stock. In fact, what I think I'm gonna do is take those bones from those chicken thighs, throw it in this water, I'll set it on the stove, see what happens. I'm gonna use about 50 cents worth of the rice, which equals about a cup of unprepared rice that's gonna expand to about a cup and a half, cup and three quarters. I'm also gonna poach an egg. Eggs are coming in at about 30 cents a piece. You can use two if you want. I want that extra 30 cents to have a little bit more diversity in my dish. I'm also using a couple of these dried shiitake mushrooms that I have left over from that hot and sour soup. I got a whole package of these, really big package for pretty cheap from uh, the Asian food market, and that's why they're coming in so cheap. I'm probably gonna use about 20 cents worth of those per serving. I also have a couple carrots that I'm gonna shred up, maybe another 20 cents worth, and a couple spoonfuls of this Jardinera. I'm using my lacto-fermented Jardinera today. The link to this Jardinera is in the description below. And I'm gonna make an orange chicken sauce. Uh, this sauce is probably gonna cost me about a dollar to make, but I'm making four portions because I have four chicken breasts. So that equals about a quarter per serving. If you're doing this with fresh garlic and fresh ginger, I'm gonna tell you how to do that first. I would mix all of these ingredients together three big spoons of sugar, a little spoon of cornstarch. This is a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar. You can use white vinegar if you want, white wine vinegar. I just had this and it tastes amazing. It's gonna be very on brand for our sauce. As well as this is two big spoons or an eighth of a cup of just plain water. Now you could use, I'm gonna zest an orange into this. You could use the juice of the orange instead of the water, I have other plans for the fruit though. This is a big spoon and a half of soy sauce and a half a little spoon of sesame oil. Now I'd mix all of those together and then put about a big spoon each of ginger and garlic, diced ginger and garlic, as well as a quarter little spoon of crushed red pepper into a saute pan with some oil, get that nice and fragrant, and then add the rest of your sauce, let that thicken up. If you're just doing it like this, I would put all of these ingredients into the same cold pot and then bring them to a boil. And then the zest of 
one whole orange. Now you have a couple options here. You could get yourself a microplane zester and I use this for a lot of different stuff. Parmesan cheese, zesting citrus. If I need something just in a really small uh, grated format, you could also use a box cheese grater on the lowest, on the smallest setting that works, that makes sense for you. Some, something like, uh, like this really small one just kind of tears stuff up. But if you don't have any of those, you could get yourself a veggie peeler and peel off the rind and sort of let that simmer in with the sauce. I would then remove it when the sauce is done though. So I uh, got that orange up for uh, a little dessert. It is very sweet. This is a Caracara orange or the uh, red fleshed navel orange, which was actually cheaper at, at my grocery store than a regular navel orange. So that's what we used today. Look at all of this food I got on this plate for $3. Now, I did have to have all of this in my pantry, but I did only use $3 worth of ingredients so that if I'm feeding a family of four, I spent $12. If I'm feeding a family of eight, that's, that's $24. That's not bad to feed almost an entire baseball team. So let's get into this. So we have our, our sushi rice that's nice and and the right texture you can get that with the chopsticks really nicely that's from all that washing mm. Mm. and that's wonderful the uh, orange chicken sauce also tastes amazing let's get some of that with the with the chicken as well mm. 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 beautiful these chicken thighs after I seared them, went into a 325 degree Fahrenheit oven, which is about 160 Celsius. Uh, and I really only meant to leave it in there for half an hour, but shooting took so long today, it ended up being in there for an hour and it's still perfect. Really wonderful. All right, poached egg, which I didn't show you because I have a whole video about that that I've linked in the description and mm, mm, mm. just bring such a luxurious quality to relatively inexpensive ingredients. You'll notice that I went through and there was a fair amount of technique involved and a fair amount of dishes involved and a fair amount of ingredients involved. But the combination of all of that led to something absolutely beautiful. So you either spend a little bit of time or you spend a little bit of money. Sometimes you spend both. Mm. Mm. Shiitake mushrooms. I did dress the shiitake mushrooms in um, soy sauce and rice wine vinegar just to give them a little pop. They really go well with the sauce here, but the, the thing that I really wanted to try was this lacto-fermented Chardonnay, and I went with the lacto-fermented today because all of my marinated Chardonnay's ha have a very distinct flavor profile. They're kind of made for that Chicago-style eatery. This is a little bit more flexible. So you could do something like a kimchi. You could do a sauerkraut. You could even do uh, pickled pickles. <laughs> Any, anything that has a little bit of a uh, little bit of acid, a little bit of salt. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that's what this dish needs. A little bit of acid, a little bit of salt. Get in the kitchen and make yourself something amazing. If you want to see the Jardinera, I have that linked in the description below. Poaching some eggs. If you want to learn how to poach eggs really nicely, I'll put that right over here. And then the soup that I used these dried shiitake mushrooms for, that's going right here. Mm. 